Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again jumping in and I actually did my character showcase of Boom recently. Very fun. He got a mega nerf after my video on him, which he definitely deserved. He's still a very, very overpowered character nonetheless, but yeah, <laughs> got a bit of a nerf. Anyways, so crazy. I was like, I kind of want to just play Eden and I selected Eden and we randomized Eden. That's kind of great. Okay. Well, guess we're playing Eden then. I actually just love Eden runs on modded. Just like, even if you don't start with modded stuff, I mean, we did. Oh, God, we started with anti-grab as well. God damn. Also, well, looking great. I wonder, we did start with the watermelon. <clears throat> if the watermelon works with anti-grav. It does. Hell yes. <laughs> I didn't know if it would adopt tier modifiers or not. Have I grown up? Have I grown up? Indeed. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Um, <clears throat> Have I grown up is going to let us... Stomp, stomp a little bit here. Do you know what? Sack of Pennies is actually not that bad for us at all here. Uh, and I will indeed bomb this. It's... Oh, God. I was going to say it's early enough that it could be pretty useful. Clearly, that was not the case. Oh, that was really stupid of me. I just realized. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is a bit mean. I'm feeling a little a little betrayed right now. Just a little betrayed. Oh god, it makes the spike blocks small too. It's kind of scary. Um Would have rather have my bomb for this situation, I'll be honest. I don't know how much longer I've got on Have I Grown Up, so I've got to be quick about this. It's a very, very strong pill because it gives you quite a lot of time. Uh, but it kind of runs out pretty sharpish. So, like when, like, when it fades away, you don't really know. The enemies just, gr like, just increase in size. Luckily, we did it in the middle of a room here. Probably should have saved this for my boss, <clears throat> but hey-ho. It does let us uh, carry a few of them through. Okay, so we did manage to get a bomb. Let's go back through over here. <clears throat> this is a good start so far, though, despite the horrible damage that I've taken. Uh, I think I can get all of this in one bomb, right? Let me see. Yes. Okay, so grab that. Soul heart there to replenish that. Take that pill. Eee, range up. Nice. <clears throat> and there you go. Yeah, okay. Not bad. We can take our abyss card. Not that we need it yet. I should probably check my shop as well, actually. How plausible is it for me to grab these coins, by the way? Uh, I'm going to say not. <laughs> Based on the fact that I just got hit. But we might have something at half price in here. Or it might be the worst shop to ever exist. Also... The shopkeeper. Oh, oh, how many pills? God damn. Um, the shopkeeper is so fitting in that shop there. He looks so depressed. <laughs> Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, starting with anti-grav is... It's... I don't know. It's not terrible, but at the same time, we would have started with two fire rate had we not have been set up this way. Okay, that's nice. Um, so it's... Oh, god damn it. Big troll bomb. Uh, it's one of those things that I'm not super displeased about, but I'm also not super pleased about. I'm pleased because our fire rate would have been god-awful if we hadn't have got an anti-grav. But at the same time, anti-grav does create some problems. But at the same time, it's a it's a fun, potential synergistic item that um, a lot of people... I mean, I don't do this, but a lot of people wouldn't regularly take. So getting it on an Eden start kind of forces your hand a little bit, which I feel just leads to a lot more interesting gameplay scenarios. I feel like that's that's one thing with Curse of the Unknown that people... Is it Unknown? Uh, the one where you can't see your items. Some One thing that people, like, often... Ooh, this is very, very good. Um, something that people often say, like, um, oh, I don't like it because, like, I'm just not going to pick up the items in case I get one I don't like. Ooh, huge look upgrade there. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> I actually think it's a good thing that... Um, it puts you in a position where you pick up an item you wouldn't normally pick up. Because some of the items that are gen generally considered bad, like Antigrav, like Tiny Planet, have some really fun synergistic potential. And I feel like a lot of the player base, I wouldn't say doesn't realize it, but they potentially ignore it. Why is there two items on top of each other here? And which one will it make me pick up first? <laughs> I am not sure. Oh. Uh, Okay, this is something to do with my, um, this is something to do with my, my, uh, Dav Rules thing. I still need to fix that. I haven't sorted that yet. Um, my Da Rules mod thing, the rules to replace items, 
it just isn't working correctly at the minute, so I need to sort that out. Yeah, and anti-grab here with piercings, real nice. Real nice. Uh, we got a penny there. So, this run is going to get busted wide open right about now. Also, a scratch card that shouldn't have appeared. So, we get that, which we shouldn't be allowed to get. Uh, we get another one of these. <clears throat> and then, wait a minute. Um... Rerolls any purchasable items outside of the shop. Restocks the current shop. Okay. Okay. Intriguing. Didn't reroll anything that we have right now. I kind of want to keep it. I, I like the watermelon a little more, but it seems... Especially if we can manage to get Steam Sale. If we can get Steam Sale, I, I think we should take the, um, the shop dice. I think that would be... A really good idea for us. I'm liking the, the the whole watermelon vibe here. Fits in with my turtle melon aesthetic. Oh, hello, there you are, Mr. Red Boy. Yeah, so we we've doubled our damage here, which is obscene. Oh god, I am taking a lot of damage though. Another range up, that's good. Another pill, that's a range down. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I'm a little scared of my current HP. I'll admit. That was very good. I'm really not happy with where I'm stood right now. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is a very powerful run, and it's essentially Ipecac's fault. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to I need to fix the rules. Gold, golden champion belt, despite apparently having like a 0 0.05 weight or something, it has a very low weight. It seems to appear basically every run. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rare in the slightest. Um, so I'm... Oh my god, there's so many champions. Uh, of course there is, because that's what um, that's what Golden Champion Belt does. But goddamn, it's scaring me. Just because the increased damage value of everything. But yeah, Golden Champion Belt, doubling our damage is really good, but then getting all the additional drops on top of that is just fantastic. Soul of Eden here, that would have been fantastic to get last floor, but didn't quite come to fruition. Ooh, I love LSD with this rain here. That looks awesome. But yeah, well, we're in a we're in a, a somewhat tight spot here. Oh god, I do realise I did just get a health upgrade on that uh, last boss fight, so that does put us in a slightly better position, but still not amazing. Some extra bombs here. Oh my god, that guy split into the wrong enemy there. That was weird. Calm down, you. Oh, we managed to, like, push that guy into a fire. I apologize, sir. I'm liking Sack of Pennies right now. I think I think getting any of the Sack Ovs on, like, the first floor is, like, super valuable. Oh, we just got Cracked Crown. See, this is what I mean by, um... Thingy, uh... Oh, God. This is what I mean by... The uh, golden champion belt just being obscene. It's so good. Although, 12% chance. Because the stab grades we're getting from that isn't so good. I think with piercing, this is way better. And I don't think that's very good, so I'm going to go for that. And we got tonsil, uh, poison aura, can attach to enemies. Yeah, we'll try that out. Doesn't sound that good, but I, I could definitely see it being useful. Um, and then we've got Blanket here is kind of good. I'd like Blanket, I think. But yeah, I'm thinking the Poison Aura shots, although... I'm noticing already the Poison Aura shots seem to be a little laggy. But yeah, just because we have Piercing, I think the, the, the potential for Godhead shots is super good. Um... Even at a 12% chance, that's still a very high chance. I don't know they don't get herming or anything, or a damage bonus, but still very worthwhile nonetheless. Stick the poison aura shot to you. Okay, these poison aura shots, they're kind of like weaker bugger tiers by the looks of it, with like sort of a more unique effect. I think they should maybe like just remove the, the green aura, or at least the visual of it, because it's a bit janky, but otherwise... Okay, four pills. We've been taking a bunch of pills here, so there's a potential to get something we like. Shot speed. 
Explosive diarrhea. What makes you larger we don't really care about. I think we've already taken one of those anyways. And a speed down, it's not bad. It's not it's not great, but it's not terrible. Right, um Secret Room is a little up in the air right now, but I'm gonna say here is likely. It's not there. Um this would be a very nice position for it. There we go. So we can get into our boss trap room now, and we even get a repairment on our bombs. I'm hoping it's health upgrade. Okay, shot speed's fine. I was hoping it'd be health, but shot speed's fine. This guy can be a little touchy. I think it's just harder because of anti-grab, to be honest. I can't really see what tiers are mine and what tiers are his, so I'm just hoping for the best here. But I am, I am playing a dangerous game right now. My health is obscenely low. Okay, that was... The watermelons are making this pretty strong. Ooh, that is a lot of money. Right, what was it in the shop that we that we took a little look at? There was I swear there was something that I uh I liked the idea of in the shop. I can't remember what it was now. Hmm. Ah, that was it, it was blanket, wasn't it? Okay. We'll take blanket. Hopefully, for one that gave us a soul heart, but hopefully that helps out with bosses a little bit. Uh, and I don't think we need to go mirror dimension here. Um we got the lamb, so we're good to go wherever we want. Let's just get gone, shall we? I uh, don't need the stompy, yeah. Let's keep it going. This is this is a very intriguing run. I definitely think we've uh, we've had a, a quite a bit of power creep in the in the two things that have come from um, Ipecac that really shouldn't have. Obviously, that being Golden Champion Bell, and then of course the um, the Mimic Room that gave us plus seven point seven seven luck. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I know that Ipecac's going to get um, some fixes and stuff's coming pretty soon. They're just working on the last few things. But I'm hoping after that point we get a few more smaller... Um, like, smaller but... Like, more consistent patches. Like, once every week, once every two weeks sort of thing. Um, that, that just are general fixes and balancing and things like that. I still need to figure out how to get rid of the map. I never know how to do it. It's, you got to, like, spam everything. Let's let's actually finish the room before we mess around with this, shall we? This guy's kind of a kind of a little bugger, isn't he? There you go. Oh, wait. That's why he didn't die before. Right. Um, ooh, one makes us smaller is pretty good for us here. This is back to our normal size. There we go. Got rid of the timer. Just a bit buggy. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that um, sort of across the board, Ipecac just gets some general balancing. Because I think Ipecac's, like I, I've said it before, and it's 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 no secret. It's one of my favorite mod packs. But, oh, god damn, I just got sucked it. Okay, I might die here. Um, It's one of my favorite mod packs, but at the same time, I would say it's pro it's one of the least balanced mod packs I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say least balanced. I think Repentance Plus is least is, is, is definitely the least balanced. But it still, it, it definitely has some balance problems that it'd be really nice to see sorted. I gotta be really careful here because any hit from any enemy is gonna kill me. In fact, I'm gonna sun card just to finish this room off pretty quick. You need to die. That's a health link, boy. Okay, that guy managed to re-up himself. Oh god, this is just scary as shit, this is. I know that them things, the cross the, the cross shooters can't kill me in one hit, but just having them around is scary enough. And in fact, they are championed as well. They're like coloured differently. Which is strange, but. Oh, by the way, I, this is something I didn't know about. Um smaller and larger um champions always drop a um one makes you larger, one makes you smaller pill. Which is really cool. I never knew that before. Okay, the range upgrades are coming in clutch here. Still having kind of a hard time hitting them. Okay. 
That Eternal Heart could be very clutch for us. Oh, I was just about to say, if we manage to get... Okay, that was nice. If we manage to get a Soul Heart here. But we didn't. I think we should take the Eternal Heart anyways, because it protects us from one hit at least. But we've got we've to gotta kind of play this right. That is an item that we can't... Oh, no. No, I was going to say, we, we can't get. We definitely can't get it. We need Flight. That's slightly annoying. Um... Okay, rooms like this where enemies can't be champions are uh, our best friend right now. God damn, we've got so much loot, so much stuff, but just like no way of realistically using it. This is a horrible, horrible room for us. How did that not kill him? Okay, that guy's invincible until, the, until everything else is dead, I'm pretty sure. And then there's this dude down here as well. Going invisible. This is so scary. I decidedly do not like this. Okay, I think he, I think he's killable now. My god, remember we got a holy mantle upon entering this uh this room here. I think we're actually probably our strongest against bosses, to be honest. To be fair, this boss, however, is fucked. Okay, thank god that bomb hit him. I preemptively struck and it worked. Right. That's not great. That could potentially be great. That's kind of good. Don't know what we're getting here, unfortunately. But we got Holy Light, and with this amount of luck, Holy Light is kind of insane. Uh, right, I think we um, pop this Emperor card now. I'm actually kind of sad that we uh, that we got this boss. We should be fine, just because Holy Light plus these bombs. Oh my god. I'm just hoping I don't lose my Eternal Heart, I'll be honest. It's the, it's the fucking Rock Strikes. They're just completely unpredictable. There you go. We managed it, though. Please give us a health upgrade. Please give us a health upgrade. Mum's heals. It's a range upgrade. God damn it. Okay, uh, we're good to go. This was a stressful floor. We have made it out with our life and some pretty good items. I would still say we are by no means in the clear. <laughs> we desperately need more HP. We are two hits away from death. This is a horrible room. Oh, for God's sake, I just wanted to push the bomb towards the fires. There you go. Oh, very nice. So yeah, we're going to get a lot of one makes you small and one makes you larger uh, pills. Oh God, oh God, this 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 room. Ah, 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 ah. This room, this room is scary as fuck. Oh, no way that hit me. God, that room's evil. God, that room is so evil. Okay. Come on, Holy Light, save me. We got so much luck that Holy Light should run run pretty much wild. Should be getting Holy Light shots all the time. Oh my god. Where is the health? Also, I better get a good shop here. I've got so much money to play around with. Don't know why these enemies don't spawn correctly sometimes. It's very strange. No, thank you. Yeah, it's very strange that those enemies don't spawn correctly sometimes. Can't believe I got a soul heart and immediately lost it as well. This is a struggle bus of a run here. And, yeah, I just want to say there's a brimstone dude there as well. My lord. More range. Probably yes, mother here. Yeah, there you go. So I think, I think we need to be using the watermelon whenever it's uh, ready. Jawburn. Jawburn's good enough. We can actually get stuff from other gaps now, so... Oh, why did I do that? I didn't mean to take that. I just tapped it. And it's like, oh, you've got it now. Okay. Oh, God. 
This guy moving fast. Thank God his spawns weren't champions. Oh my God, it's a health upgrade. It's a heckin' health upgrade. We needed that so badly. <laughs> right. That at least somewhat saves our life. <laughs> oh my lord. Why did I press the button? It was very clear what pressing the button would do there. Oh wait, there's two buttons I see now. Okay, no, I had to press the button. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Some definitely cool room designs here. Definitely some difficult room designs also, but very cool. Oh god, you almost tricked me. Oh, it's one of those chests. Okay. Don't know why it changed, but... Okay. These guys can walk through walls, which makes them quite a big threat, but they've got pretty low HP. For fuck's sake, game. This is just rude. I really, really wish there was something to make sure... Okay, here font card makes it all okay. But I really wish someone would make a mod that adds some sort of... Gr um, like, keeper... Not keeper. Um, greed protection from shops. Like, I'm fine with him showing up. But for one, he should show up less often than he currently does. I, cu I currently think he shows up way too often. Um, but for two, you shouldn't be able to get it on the last floor... And three, you shouldn't be able to get it twice in a row. It's just evil. It makes shops feel so... I get that it's part of the downside, but it genuinely makes shops feel so worthless sometimes. We got deca decap attack. Unfortunately, decap attack isn't that good for us right now. Those chests are really cool. I, I think a few things that they should change with those chests, though. I think the way that they work is really, really, really nice. One thing they should do, they should have, like, the demon beggar effect where, um... Where you can visually see it taking the heart. Uh, like, do you know where like, the beggar holds the heart above his head before he takes it? That'd be a nice touch where you can visibly see it taking the hearts. Two, it should maybe have a required minimum payout. Because from what I've seen so far, it pays out with items um, a lot. Or at least mainly. And I think it does have other drops, but items seem to be the main thing. Maybe it should have like a two full heart minimum. Or like a... Yeah, pro pro I'd probably say a two full red heart minimum as a payout requirement. Um, because we we got um, an item for one red heart there. Which, considering how many items we have on the floor, is not a high cost in the slightest. So, maybe adding a minimum cost to those would uh, prevent them being a little too overpowered. Because um, even though the items you can get from aren't always going to be amazing, and they're not that common, they're actually one of the rarer things in um, in Repentance Plus, they still have a bit of a power creep that I think is a little unbalanced. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I think Repentance Plus at the minute is probably the least balanced mod that I use, but at the same time it adds the most enjoyable content, so I can kind of deal with um, with a little bit of, of like these powerful runs. Um... Because I still enjoy the game, if, even if I'm even if I'm having a fairly easy time of winning, um, I'm still enjoying the game. And as you can see by this run here, just because we're powerful doesn't always mean that we're going to be just destroying the game. Because having low health and stuff can still happen just as much. So yeah, it's not always a cut and dry situation. Um, so it would be um, oh god. It, but it, it would be nice in general to just see some of the balancing tweaked. And I think, yeah, Repentance Plus needs it most, mainly in the drop rates of all its new stuff and, like, how powerful some of them are. Um, but then on top of that, yeah, Ipecac definitely has some um, some power issues. I'm going to use Solar Eden here, and I got a very good item for it. Uh, Isaac's Heart's a fun one, and I do actually quite like it now. I'd say I'd take it on most runs, given the opportunity. But this run is is already been... Ooh, I got a crash there, unfortunately. One moment. Okay, we are back. We can hope that that crash doesn't occur again this time on this floor. We, we don't actually know for sure. It might be the room. It might not. Um, we're going to get the same stuff regardless as last time. So we're just going to do what I did last time. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I, it would be just nice to see a general balancing tweak overall. Because I think that... Isaac is probably, at least in my opinion, of the games that I mod, one of the most egregious examples of modding making the game easier. I, like, I wouldn't say it makes it significantly easier, but I would say it, it, it definitely is noticeably easier. Like, Nuclear Throne, I'd say that game actually gets harder with mods. Enter the Gungeon gets a little bit easier with mods. Um, okay, will we still get a Soul of Eden here? That's the question. Um, yeah, we will. 
But uh, this game gets gets very noticeably easier when you're using mods, especially specific like certain mods. If a cat currently being one of them, which is, is understandable. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's just exit the game and continue. So we've got a save point here, just so, just in case this crashes again. Okay. Mm, it did crash again. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So we've got a few options we can do here. We can either just give ourselves an emperor card to skip past that room. Or we can just... Well, first things first, we'll try and go the other way. Um, I'm not sure if, if that there is like a custom room issue. Or if it's something else. I don't really know. Uh, but for now, let's, let's just ignore that room. Go do some other stuff somewhere else. Hope that we can progress to the boss via another route. But honestly, normally you have to go through the big rooms. Guppy's head's very good, but I still think Watermelon's kind of my favourite. One thing I kind of like to do when I play Eden Runs as well, it's not a, a strict rule, not something I, com I completely stick by, but I like to try and stay with and, and utilise the given active item. Like, if it, even if it gives me a bad active item, I've just got to keep it and make it make it work. Um, which, it, it depends. Sometimes that's okay, sometimes it's not. Oh god, you're still there. Hello. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, but... It's, it's a fun sort of way to play Eden, to make him a little harder. But yeah, as you can see, we unfortunately do have that room. So if we go over here... Oh, hello. That is um, not so good, I imagine. But I think it's... If we do spawn... Five, is it 3.5? No. Um, 5.300. There you go. Um, point... I think it's point five. Yes! Smart. So we are going to have to skip out on some stuff on this floor. But this, this is one of the big reasons why I like him in the console. And some people are like, oh, well, it, it, it adds temptation for cheating and stuff. And some people would see that as cheating, potentially. But one of the big reasons I have console is, for one, it allows me to check some errors and some crashes and stuff like that. When we can see, like, error messages like we have there. But secondly... Um, it allows us to do stuff like we just did. Ooh, seven seals, nice. It allows us to do stuff like we just did, where we get into essentially a soft lock due to issues via modding. Or sometimes there's some base game soft locks, like some of the uh, the the ultra secret room soft locks still somewhat exist. So it is um it is nice to be able to sort those out, so to say, be able to remove those. Oh, this is a very hard room. Oh, I hate this room. Yep, cool. Whoever makes this room, I'm pretty sure it's a vanilla room, by the way. I don't think it's a modded one. But whoever made that room, I, I do not understand what the thought process was. Like, literally, if you test it with any speed other than two, you realize it's impossible to not take damage. That is a Dharma myth there. I'm getting a lot better at spotting these now. Ooh, hello. Uh, lots of smelty smelties. We don't actually have enough to smell, but... Walking into bomb chests opens them for free. I imagine that doesn't have a golden effect, sadly. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we don't really want any of these. Yeah, uh, basically, my my fix or my tweak to, to how um, Dormimix should work is, for one, I think they should be slightly less common. I still think they're a little bit too common. Um, we do have some hearts about here, so we can use this. See what I mean there? Look, that's insane. We, we paid one red heart, and we got Brittle Burns, which has now given us a ton more HP. It's it's just kind of insane. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd make them a little rare. I still think they're a little bit too common. Um, oh, God. Got to go through this room again. Uh, and then on top of that, I'd probably say, for one, obviously, just... I'd, I'd completely rework or, or remake the reward rooms for bombing into them, just because at the minute they're incredibly strong. Um, I'd just make them overall a hell of a lot weaker. Um, but for two, I'd add like a lot of more variety into the types of rooms you can get. Like, I don't think every single room should just straight up be reward room. I think there should be some rooms in there where sometimes you get a reward. It's kind of, kind of like... Make make the philosophy around creating them similar to the philosophy of curse rooms, where you go in and you've got 
equal part chance of it being a prize or not. Uh, it doesn't always mean you're going to walk in and get nothing, but like sometimes you might have to fight additional enemies. Um, like there's a room that has like a bunch of pedestal mimics that don't actually give items or something. So like it looks like you get an item, but you don't. Uh, and the, a few other things like that where it's just maybe combat rooms, maybe it's like some sort of puzzle or trap room, um, and just just some generally tweaked rooms to make it so it's not just all reward. Because the thing is, while it does take some amount of skill, uh, ooh, uh, Joker, that's nice. While it does take some amount of skill, um, and, uh, and like forethought and knowledge of the mimics, to see them, notice them, and then bomb them to get in. Like, you need to have the knowledge that you can do that. You need to realize it's a door mimic. Uh, and then you need to use use one bomb. The associated cost once you have that knowledge. Because the thing is, you only have to learn that knowledge once. Once you've learned that knowledge, you have it forever. Um, unless you forget. But let's, let's, let's say, for example, you don't forget. But anyways, yeah. So once you have that knowledge, you have it forever. Um, oh my god, heart... Just a straight... Uh, I still think that's the dumbest thing that's ever been introduced into the Binding of Isaac by by Mod. <laughs> just a straight-up heart container heart. Just why? What's the point? <laughs> uh, anyways, um, no offense to Modder, but I just don't understand the idea behind that. Um, yeah, uh... Ooh, Soul of Isaac's kind of good here. I'd kind of like to take both here. Uh, that's, that's fine, whatever. Um... Yeah, like, it, it means that once you've got that knowledge, the associated cost of getting all the rewards that are available, which sometimes is little, sometimes is more, but always it's more than one bomb. And it takes not that much effort to, to notice and realize them once you've done it once before. Now, I do fall for the odd um, war, uh, door mimic here and there, but you got to think... If I, if I um, walk into a door mimic and get hit by it, that's half a heart or a full heart, depending on the floor of damage that I've taken, um, which isn't that much of a negative. Whereas the positive of noticing it and bombing it for just one bomb is obscenely high. Like there's, that, there's the card beggar room that's just full of card beggars, which is essentially... A free, de uh, a free dice, because you're, you're going to get a payout from one of them. And potentially a lot of HP or resources from said cards that they trade you. Because um, you can just keep basically re-rolling your card until you get what you want. Um, or there's the one where it's just a free item or two free items. And yeah, there's just... The and then there was the one that we just got there where it's just a bunch of trinkets and a smell. Or it's just all sorts of crazy drops. And I do realise, by the way, I'm saying this like they're not planning on nerfing it. They very much are. I know this for a fact. Um, they they did say that the, um, the next patch, or at least a patch coming soon, should completely, like, nerf those rooms. But I still think it's not just about nerfing the power of the rooms. There needs to... They either need to be, like, harder to bomb into... Or there needs to be a chance for you to not get a reward at all. Um, not great stuff there, to be honest. I'll take this, though. Um, yeah, or there needs to be a stuff uh, like a chance to not get a reward at all. Because, yeah, you, it's just crazy value for very little cost. And I, I think... I think that's essentially where almost all the balance issues in everything that I've seen so far in Repentance Plus, Ipecac and stuff has kind of come from. The th of, of things that aren't... Oh, there's like a chest under this guy. Uh, of things that aren't items, that is. I don't think items need an associated cost. Still don't know how to play this guy. Still haven't figured that one out yet. Um, I don't really know how that guy works. Um... But yes, uh, anything that isn't an item, like, it always comes down to the associated cost of benefit. The flesh chests, they don't require enough health. The, um, the empty, like, the, the heart container hearts, they have literally no associated cost whatsoever, which makes them really, really overpowered, because it's just a free heart container that you shouldn't otherwise be getting. Um... It's like, and, and like a better example, um, we can sort of look at the, um, we can look at the locked hearts, the locked soul hearts. They can, they can replace regular soul hearts, which I'm not as big a fan of, but that's not a terrible thing. Um, it's, it's the best way for modders to do it at the moment. I don't know what's going on with these guys as, as well. But yeah, it's the best way for modders to do it at the moment, so I don't really mind that too much. But 
that that's got a, a decent associated cost, but even still, it's not quite enough. You're gaining one and a half soul hearts for the cost of one key, which is actually a pretty good value proposition, I think. I think that's... A, that, one key is a fairly high cost on like early on in a run. Late on, it might not matter as much, but pretty good cost, and you're only getting half an extra soul heart, so th that's a relatively well-balanced um, decision. The only thing that makes it not so balanced is the fact that it can replace a regular soul heart. So my, my example of where that would be a problem is imagine for example i know that these uh, locked soul hearts are rare so this probably wouldn't ever happen but imagine you pick up mr dolly from your boss room and it drops three locked soul hearts and you have no keys or you only have two keys or you only have one key you are now put in a situation um where had you not had repentance plus installed or not had those hearts enabled you would have had three free soul hearts with no associated cost. Now, you have three soul hearts that you literally cannot pick up if you don't have the required keys, which is why they need to be their own separate entity rather than replacing something that already exists. Which, like I said, I know isn't as easy as it sounds. I'm making it... I'm saying it as if it's flick of a switch, super easy to do. It's not. I realise that. Um, they, have, they have gone with their... With, with the most straightforward and practical solution, which is, again, fair. Um, the ones, the, the sort of ones that I, I have the, the, the bigger problem with is, like, the glitched hearts and the multi-hearts and, um, and stuff like that, because, like, they don't really have, um, an associated downside with them at all. They're just kind of, they're just kind of, hey, here's a benefit, and... It was just, it just replaced a heart that wouldn't have otherwise had that benefit. And it's kind of like, well, what the heck? Okay, let's not do that, because they're not buttons that are required. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like, hey, here's here's a benefit that you're getting. That, um, that you, you would have you, you normally just dropped a red heart. And even, even if... It's a really, really low drop chance. Even if it's 0.01% chance every one in a thousand hearts gets replaced by a glitched heart, I still don't think that's good. Because it's it's benefit that you shouldn't be getting. And with no associated cost, it means that it's just... it Basically, it's just... Fr it's like a free bit of easy help and i i do realize by the way that stuff like that already exists within this game i do realize there are it's it's like it's like when you get a a room that's got like a 0.01 percent chance to spawn that has like a hundred cent in it and it's like it makes that run in particular way stronger because of it that i do understand that they do exist but just because of the sheer amount of stuff that Repentance Plus has added, it feels like they're a lot more common in general, and it feels like they're showing up not, I wouldn't say a ton, but it feels like they're showing up enough that it's generally made the difficulty curve of the game easier. And, by the way, I do, I will acknowledge, it does sound like all I do is complain. I, I've, I've been talking about it for the past few episodes, and it just... <coughs> it might seem like all I do is complain about these um, these additional things that this mod's added. I'm only saying it, and I'm only... Basically, my, my thought process is, if the developer's watching, or anyone that might want to re re relay this developer is watching, um, if there's any way to get to them, it's going to help make the mod better in the future. For two, it's something that I really love. It's a mod that I really enjoy, so I want to see it be the best that it can be. And three, I... I'm basically having a running train of thought right now where I'm constantly sort of thinking of how to improve things or reasoning out to myself why I think it needs to be changed and you guys are just hearing that stream of consciousness. It's not that I'm constantly blathering on about it, which, I mean, I'm sure some of you are here just like, oh my god, turtle, just talk about something else. All you do is talk about these fucking glitched hearts, you... God damn it! I'm bored of this commentary. I'm, I'm sure. But I said I said that in a really mean way. I didn't mean to. Say, I didn't mean to sound mean. Some of you genuinely might not like it, and I understand that. Um, I probably should be uh, turning it down or turning it back just a little bit. Uh, but it's just something I'm passionate about. 
like, I mean, many of you that have watched any of the Mega Modded series know that I'm pretty passionate about Isaac modding, and I, I, I tend to like to see the mods reasonably balanced around the vanilla difficulty of the game, the intended difficulty of the game, and, um... I, I want I want new people uh, that play the mod, like from some people that come over from my series and go and check out these mods, and even just people in general that are new to it. I want them to have the best possible experience with the mod in the best way it, it, it could be. So it's something that I uh, I talk about a lot because I think it has potential for greatness. Now, that's not to say that I know the solu the exact solution for all of these problems. Like, I don't, I, I genuinely don't know the solution for glitched hearts. I don't know what would be, what would be the best way to balance them. Because obvi the obvious way to balance them currently is lower their weight so they're much rarer. Meaning, even now they're already pretty rare, but lower their weight so they're rarer just so you can't see them quite as often. They're just a nice rare treat every now and again, once every few runs. It's going to give you a few different hearts. Or you have some sort of cost where it hurts you to pick them up in red health, but it gives you other hearts. Or I don't know, it costs it like it takes away a random amount of a random consumable. That, to be fair, considering it's a glitched heart, that would actually be a pretty good way of doing it. Um, just have it so that little Abaddon, nice. Um, and conjoined. This is going to be a lot of tears. Yep. <laughs> just have it where it's like. When you pick it up, it's going to spawn three random hearts. Could be three red hearts. You might get unlucky. Ooh, side fly as well. Could end up being three red hearts. You might get unlucky. But it could end up being like a golden heart, um, a soul heart, and a black heart. Uh, and, um... Why is there rocks on this floor, by the way? Um, blank. And Zodiac. Yeah, and, and it just takes away a random amount between one and, say, like, ten of a random consumable in your inventory. You can take away between one and 10 keys, between one and 10 um, money, between one and 10 bombs, or it could take um, a random amount of each. And then it has an associated cost where, yes, you're gaining HP, but for that benefit, you're gaining, because the the way that I see glitched hearts at least is like, think of, think of the position that you get put in when, um, when you're on the early floors, you're at low HP, and you find Mr. Dolly from your boss room. It is such a big boon to your success, because there is the potential to get up to three soul hearts. Um, and, and that could literally save your run. And that's how I see glitched hearts, and they're not even an item. They, ha they have that same potential to give you really good stuff. And in fact, because they can give you any hearts, they actually have the potential to give you some better stuff, like golden hearts and stuff. So it's um, it's it's kind of crazy to have something that has the same value uh, as an item, as a random drop. And I and again, I realise there are certain things like that, like the hero font that has the same value as items. Yes, but um, I, I just think it's a little bit overtuned. And so I think maybe having it as some sort of glitched... Thing where it can take consumables as well would somewhat fix it. I'm, I'm not claiming to be the most knowledgeable on the subject. I'm not claiming to have the exact right answer for how to pr properly balance this. I'm just kind of theory crafting and coming up with random ideas and seeing what people think, throwing it out there. And also, like I said, part of what I do on my YouTube channel here is just a flow of my subconscious, just me just speaking my mind, talking, and hopefully not putting you all to sleep. Although, maybe for some of you, some people watch this when they go to bed. I don't know. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.